Hi there guys, thought I'd do a quick video here for you today about the various differences between the FX Crown models. At the top we have the Mark 1, in the middle we have the Compact Crown and at the bottom here we have the brand new Mark 2 Crown. I have taken the bottles and barrels off. The bottles are the same through all models but the barrels have some slight differences which I'll be going over in another video. For your information, both the Mark 1 and the Mark II came with 500mm long barrels. The Compact came with a 380mm long barrel. So, I'll take these out of the stocks and get you a good look at the blocks. Ok, now that the rifles are outside the stocks, I thought it would be a good time to talk about the differences between the various blocks. The main differences include the Picatinny rail, which is not present on the Mark I crowns, and the change in the fixing of the barrels between the Compact and the Mark I's. So first of all, you see the barrel mounting locations are slightly different between the Compact and the Mark II and the Dovetail Mark I crowns. The barrel mounting screws are located on the side instead of in the top of the Dovetail rail. You can see here the two screws at the front of the block are used to tighten the barrel down in the Mark I. However, on the Mark II and the compact crown, they are moved to the side. This allows you to change barrels without removing your scope. The Mark II and the compact crowns both have the same pick rail, however there is a slight difference in the way that it is aligned with the rifle. The Mark II crowns have 20 MOA of adjustment in the rail built in. The compact crowns do not have this feature and the Picatinny rail is parallel to the barrel. So the main external difference between the Mark II and the Mark I is the addition of a Picatinny rail and the mounting point for the barrel. However, there are some smaller differences that I'm going to talk about now. Firstly, it's the changing of the calibre wheel. The calibre wheel on the Mark II has high, low and medium whereas the Compact and the Mark I have low 177.22 and 2530. Also, another slight difference that is present on both the Mark II and the Compact crowns is the black gauges. On the Mark I crowns, they are fitted with white gauges. I believe the gauges are the same throughout all models, except the face colour is slightly different. Another change between the Mark II's and the Mark I's is the change in the way that the calibre wheel is fitted. On the Mark II's and the Compact's, the calibre wheel is held in by a screw. However, on the Mark I's, it's simply a pressing boss. However, the roll of the calibre wheel is still the same between all models. The next change is the change in the regulator body. As you can see here, the Mark II features a new regulator body with a boss on the outside. Both the Compact and the Mark 1s use a smooth faced regulator body. I believe the internal reg is the same, it's just the boss that has been changed. The final difference is the change in laser engraving between the models. Each model has its own unique engraving layout and position. I'll give you a close up now. While we are on the subject of laser engraving, I will say that the Mark I crowns definitely had the brightest laser engraving. It's nice and white, nice and clean, whereas the Compacts and the Mark II crowns are slightly more grey in the laser engraving. And the anodising on the Mark IIs and the Compacts I do not feel is as good as the Mark I's. That's it for external differences. 
in the next video I'll be taking each one apart and showing you the differences that are present inside the rifle. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.